Hello everyone, Brad Johnson here with another update on the Kazarev mirror, or again as I've termed it uh, for these ones that I've built, the Taurus meditation mirrors. So I went in this evening and did about another half hour, 40 minute uh, meditation. Uh, last night really was quite profound. I had a very powerful experience last night as I was really feeling a very strong psychic enhancement because I could really feel a very strong charge in the air yesterday. It was a very strong, energetically potent day yesterday. When I woke up today, today didn't really feel as potent, and it reflected in the meditation mirror today, which means it, wasn't mean, it didn't mean that there was uh, anything bad happening. It doesn't mean that it was uneventful. I was still getting some psychic impressions. I was still getting some nice uh, buzzing within the uh, the forehead, back of the head, the crown. I was getting some buzzing in my spine as well too. But if I was to compare it to yesterday, yesterday was much more stronger, much more potent. I was getting some very interesting visions uh, yesterday as I was seeing mountain ranges, I was seeing cities, I was even being able to go up into the earth, seeing it again in its round nature. And if you really go closer and closer to the moon, you'll start to see spacecraft, lots of them, uh, just around, uh, I'd say, in the kind of like in the elliptical line of the moon, and just going beyond it, you would see a lot of spacecraft. And I was seeing that last night. Today, uh, again, I had a couple of visions, but I just didn't feel like it was as potent as yesterday. Potent, yes, but not very potent. Yesterday truly was the super potent day. So this has led me to a feeling that the uh, Taurus meditation mirror or the Kazarev mirror really is the most effective when there are potently strong energetic days, when there are alignments, when there are astrological alignments, when there are lunar alignments, when there are planetary alignments, solstices, equinoxes. Uh, if you're near a ley line, even if I brought radiate region in here, I had the TVs in here, it would really pick it up a lot more. It's in the other room, but again, the thing with Radiate Regen is the biomagnetic light. The biomagnetic light is the great concentration of Radiate Regen, and so I don't really get that that much in here because I closed the door. So I'm getting residuals of the scalar that's coming in here, and like I said, I do get some charge coming in. But if I was to turn Radiate Regen off completely, not having it on whatsoever, I would feel that the energetic potency in here would be quite minimal. So my feeling with the Kazarev mirrors, my feeling with the Taurus meditation mirrors, is that they do rely upon the potency of the energy uh, within the space. Uh, they also rely on astrological energy, lunar energy, uh, solstice energy, equinox energy, the energies of the earth because really this is just a concentration capsule. So it's concentrating that energy. Uh, like I said, there is, there's torsion to it, but as I previously mentioned, torsion is just an effect. The cause is the torus field, right? So depending upon the alignment of the day would determine how effective the uh, mirror itself is, because a mirror in this 360 degree form, or even in a spiral as well too, is just a collection of concentrated energy. It's a collection of concentrated energy, and if you have a very powerful source of that energy to which this capsule, this mirror, can collect, you can have some very, very powerful experiences. But by itself, uh, it does not have its own energy, right? So you basically could not uh, utilize this as a type of uh, charger by itself, right? It, it needs the potent energies of the space. It needs the potent energies of the person that's inside the mirror to really draw on, on that and build concentration. That's where its power comes from. By itself, it's really not much, okay? So that's kind of the idea, is if you have a very, very strong, energetically potent day, which the last few days have really been, like I said, today just hasn't been that strong, um, again, I've had some really powerful, amazing experiences with this, with these potent days that are here. So when you develop these, if you are developing a Kazarev mirror, 
what I would suggest is that you're planning out your days. You're kind of looking at astrological charts. You're looking at lunar phases. Uh, if you have something like the radiate regen technology, or again, the radiate technology, and you're setting that up and you're, because that, those are sources of energy, right? Then this is going to be ideal for you because it's going to collect. It's going to concentrate. It's going to encapsulate that energy. That's the benefit of the Khazaref mirror. Khazaref mirror is all about collecting and concentrating great amounts of energy to basically have uh, powerful, luminous, psychic, intuitive, and even time traveling, so called time traveling experience. But it's not really traveling through time, it's just the idea that your mind is in much more of an expansive state and the concentration of energy that is coming through the mirror itself is quite potent so that it's enabling you to explore much more of your own subconscious mind. That's really what this is about. So again, that's the great, great benefit of this technology is that it concentrates, is that it collects, is that it basically uh, amalgamates all of that energy together. But it by itself is not an energy source provider. It doesn't provide the energy. It only concentrates it. It doesn't create the energy. It only uh, concentrates it. So that's the downside of the uh, meditation mirror, is that we, we cannot use it really as a power source. You can use it as a reflector. You can use it as a concentrator. It can amplify that energy, it can collect it, but by itself, it requires, again, the uh, potency of the surrounding environment and of the subject, the person, uh, of the astrological energies as well, too. It requires all of that, and that's what makes it great. So you have to kind of plan out your days. When we're noticing that there's a very strong astrological alignment or strong lunar phase alignment or anything of that nature, you want to hop in this mirror right away because you're going to really benefit from the concentration of the surrounding energies and your own energy as the subject. That's what I've discovered here. That's kind of like my own theory relating to the mirrors, uh, just trying them in this way. So that is my third update pertaining to the Khazaref mirrors, or again, the uh, Taurus meditation mirror. More updates to come very soon. Thank you for watching.